Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new tutorial with Affinity Photo. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use your Wacom tablet with your computer or your laptop. Now to get started, first follow your manual. And, and this is not specifically dedicated to Wacom tablets. Any sort of tablets will work with this. So the first thing is read your manual and install the drivers to your computer and once that is done restart your computer and once that is done open up affinity photo and once affinity photo is done make sure you have taken your brush there's nothing to do in your settings menu just go to your brush and choose this so it's going to enable force pressure to control size when disabled size is controlled by brush defaults so when this is enabled you're going to be able to use your pressure so now i'm going to do very hardly now i'm going to go very lightly and as you can see that is being applied so i'm going to undo that control z or you could use your brush buttons you could design them for being control z or anything else but well, one thing I like to do with this is uh, when you're using with your pen, make sure you have chose Control Z for your pen button. So that's going to be very easy for you to do. So I'm going to get rid of this pixel layer that's no longer needed. So all right, now how I got these smooth lines. So to do that, just take your stabilizer and make sure you have window mode enabled and I have set my window to 23 you can always play around and see which works best and once that is done I'm gonna type I'm gonna write hi so that's pretty much for the writing maybe go in better so obviously I'm not liking that so I'm gonna bring down the window size to like 11 or 9 that's a bit jittery that's kinda like the main thing you're gonna give importance to and this is really easy for uh, this is very comfortable for prolonged mouse users their hands gonna get really tired and painful so to avoid that your pen and tablets are gonna have a natural position to your hand so you're not gonna have any problem while doing this and that would do for this tutorial if you have any questions let me know down in the comment section below if you liked it leave a like if you want more content like this be sure to comment down below on what type of content you want and as always stay creative and stay healthy till next time thank you for watching